Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Elasticsearch. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create an index in the Elasticsearch. There are several APIs which comes with the Elasticsearch using which we can perform several operations which include creating index or creating a document in the index. The index is nothing but the storage place. So let's go ahead and uh, create our very first index. Before going to create an index, let's list out what are the already existing indices. And if you remember the command is the method is get then cat and indices so this will list all the indices present in the elastic search so there are so far five default indices are present in order to locate those physically where those are stored and if you have the access to file system then you can go to the installation directory for example in our case it's a elastic search and go to the data folder under that and go to the nodes then you see the folder named with zero and here we have the folder called indices and this holds the, all the indices so whatever the so far we saw the indices those are listed here the actual name of index is not there it is the unique id which is associated for that index is listed here so let's go ahead and create our first index in order to create index, we need to use command named as a put command. This is HTTP method and then we have to give the, the index name. We have to remember the index name is always in lowercase. So make sure you are using lowercase names and this is that's, that's the command. So we have to just provide the name of index and click enter. If everything is looks good with this command, we'll get the response as a acknowledge as a true. That means the Elastic Search server acknowledge the request, and it also gives the information whether shards is acknowledged. And if it is true, then it will. If the response is immediately coming from the Elastic Search for the shards, then it is true. If when it is false, we don't have to worry. But it is Sometimes Elastic Server takes some time to create the index. So sometimes we get shards acknowledged as a false. We can, that's totally acceptable. Later on it creates because this is the quickly uh, given response. Hence it is giving the values true for both the acknowledgements and the name of index is customer. In case you want to list down again the what are the indices present, you can again use the get command and fire it and now we can see the index name customer is created if you notice here the status is yellow and the reason is oh there is no associated replicas created because this is local environment we do, we do not have defined the replicas as the status is yellow but it is properly created now in case you would like to create an index using postman you have to go here and you can select your collection and select on this three dots and click on add request here we can mention yes create index and save it click on this request and provide the url as like earlier and here we need to provide the name of index let's create a product as index make sure using the HTTP method as a post put and hit enter so now again the another index with name product got created in case you want to check the status you can again run the same indices command and it will show us a product as well so this way we can create the a new index now in case you want to uh, create a document under the index or you want to create a completely new index at the same time you can create a document as well 
and to do that let's go ahead and create another index for that as this is going to be creation of a document as well as a creation of index so we have to use a post method and the command is very simple let's uh, we are assume that we are going to create index for supplier so just mention index name as a supplier and under this supplier if you are going to create a document mention the underscore doc now under the document it might have several fields like first name last name so we have to create those fields at the time of creation of document and for that we have to use curly bracket the good part of this development tool is if you provide a curly bracket and if you hit enter it automatically generates the ending bracket so you don't have to worry about the, whether the we are closing the brackets or not just open the bracket and hit the enter button then we have to provide the what are the fields present in the document the document is always in the json format so that means it's kind of key value pairs so we have to provide the key here you can follow the naming convention what are the naming convention you follow for the json message and here i'm using first name colon then the actual value then at the end of each field you have to use comma then the next field i'll use the last name also let's provide last name as a smith and then let's provide a display name as well You can provide any other detail if you want. This is very simple format, and if this is the last field, do not provide any comma there. So once you provide all these details, so this is nothing but a body part. We provided the URL part here. Once you provide this all these details, you can hit the enter button. If the URL is correct and the content is valid then the document will be created so here we can see the index name is supplier got created it's a type it's doc the id is also generated we have the version then the result is created and some additional information such as charts there are total two successful created document one if there is failure it's zero sequence number is zero and primary term one now the document is generated or the index is get created for this document how can we validate that now to validate that let's run this indices command and one thing we can say is we created customer supplier and product let's see what's what's the size of the supplier so here the size is 4.8 kb as well as it has this column populated this column is nothing but the number of documents so we created another a completely a new document has the count is one but for the product it's a zero and for the customer it, it is a zero so that means there is a no document present for the customer so let's go ahead and create the customer document using our postman tool so i'll just copy this go to this postman here we need to use post method and under the body section i'll just copy paste or you can just use this type as a raw and then text as a json because body will be a json message make sure you're using correct index name here the name of the index will be customer in case you would like to change the name you can change here and let's go ahead and hit this send button
one thing missing here is it is just going to throw the error message and the reason is we are not provided the underscore doc as a keyword which is a type we have seen these details in our earlier tutorials the doc is nothing but here the type we are sending and then the send button now so if everything looks good then it will create a a document under the customer index now we can see the index name is customer then dog and the id and other details let's verify that using our indices command now we can see uh, there is a document present under the customer index so this way we can create a completely new index and also we can add the document inside that if you go to your file system you will see the multiple indexes you're not able to figure out what is the name of that directly on your physical machine but the one way you can try to figure out what is the name of customer index here or what is the unique id what you have to do is you have to come here and check the what is the uid the uid is ends with the bsw for the customer you can check under the this folder it's a bsw this is the customer index and under this index there are several information present which is not human readable uh, you'll see some documents uh, index folder some other folders such as translog and the state uh, this will just the machine readable or the elastic search understand this for searching and indexing purpose but these informations are stored on physical level so this way we can create the index and i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Kindly like this video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting updates about the Elasticsearch. Thank you again and have a wonderful time.